Hi everyone, um, it's been a while since I've done a video, I apologise for that, been a tad busy. Um, in this one I probably, I'm going to go through and demonstrate how I've gone about making this parametric crane. Now, I haven't spent a lot of time on detail in terms of making it look really pretty, uh, it's more about functionality. Um, we had a request from a client to do some work, 4D sequencing stuff, and we wanted to be able to have a working crane. So I thought I'd piece something together, and and which I have already done. And the first time I went around it, I came across a few issues, which I've had to work through and found some better ways of doing things. So I might try and do this a little bit more efficiently on this second time round. Um, just to give you a bit of example of what we're actually creating, if I go into my family types, we can have a look at all the parameters that I've set up. Now I could have set rules to constrain, and I think I might do this in our second attempt, um, the extensions to um, so it doesn't tip and things like that. I'm not right up there with crane design, so a lot of the terms I've tried to put my own stint on. Um, but just to give you an example of what we've got, let's shrink this down so we can actually see as we change these parameters. So for instance I can change um, the boom angle, tilts right down, I can put it right up if you want, to almost vertical. Um, we could rotate, let's put this back on about ugh, 75, we could rotate it around um, at 45 degrees, we could go all the way to 120 if we wanted to. Um, we can change the various extensions. So let's um, make each of these something quite small. Um, just to give you an idea. So we can compress it right up. And we can also compress the cable right up to say um, three meters, and it gives you an idea of the parametrics we're talking about. Of course, all the materials are pretty straightforward. We can adjust those. Um, so let's give a quick overview of how I've actually pieced it together. It's actually made of quite a few um, nested families. So if that's not a topic you're familiar with, that's something we'll be going through. Um, so initially, we've got in here you can see I've had to nest basically this entire component into this final family and link through all the parameters as you can see they're all linked um, we can go, we'll go through that process and how you go about linking things um, <clears throat> so let's look at what we've then got in this one we've again we've got the body nested so I've actually had to double nest in order to get the, this rotation to work and that was based around the fact that the pivot point wasn't working properly um, and we'll address that in the process. We then look in that. We've then got this boom which is nested again because that needs to operate independently. And again I linked all the parameters on that one. And then in this one, I've got the hook, because that needs to operate independently. And I've actually made that a face-based family on the end of this uh, main extension. And this is the hook. So if we have a look what we have in here. basically got a whole bunch of extrusions. Um, there's some... We've got a reference line that's constraining the cable length. Um, these are all fixed and we can see I've used the generic model face base template here. Um, 
and basically I've controlled the pivot point of where this um, end point of this line is going to be sitting and then I've controlled the length of that and then I've got a parameter con to control the angle alright so that's basically what we're going to go through um, we'll stop it there and then we'll start with this first component so we're going to start basically from the very ba initial component and then work our way back through the once we've got all the families together we can then piece it all together and get the crane working and then we can put some rules on that to control whether or not it's going to tip and things like that alright let's get started <laughs> 